Hi guys! So today I am going to be doing a GCSE art tips video. So as you probably know, I do GCSE art. I'm now doing A level art along with photography and media. But I thought it'd be helpful and interesting if I told you about GCSE art. Because although the majority of you, I believe, are American, there are quite a um, significant amount of you that are from the UK. So helpful. So I'm going to start off with talking about what it's like. So GCSE art is very meh. <laughs> it's not going to be as fun as you think it might be sometimes. It's very uh, restricting because they want you to build a solid foundation for your art and kind of focus on the basics and the technical side um, first so that you have enough skill to execute the more creative ideas that you might have. So I know that I struggled because I draw very stylized things. That's my style. It's what I love to do. It makes me happy and drawing more realistic things, especially clothes, <sighs> um, I just never found it interesting, and if you hear tapping, it's my dog. Um, I never found it interesting, and that really sucked, but after a while you do get used to it, and it becomes something that you do want to focus on, or at least it, it, that, it was that way for me. Um, what, what can I say? You will probably draw a lot of plants. <laughs> a lot of flowers, a lot of plants, um, some material of some sort at some point. Um, and I don't know if you'll, I mean, throughout the entire course of school where you did like school, normal school art, you probably dabbled in portraiture and abstraction and stuff, so you probably know about that stuff. So what you'll probably do is just focus on the technical side of things for a bit, um, but they do expect you to still use your creativity when making outcomes, so just don't be um, discouraged. Um, when doing this because you might be, <laughs> you might want to draw other things, you might think that your style might not be worthy and that is not true and you can do a lot of things with your art style if it's stylized. you just need to make sure you get the technical skills first before you can delve into that world. So yeah and you can always do it at home, like that's what I did. So if you've got a really relaxed teacher then you might be able to kind of do a couple of your little stylized things but for, for the most part you will be focusing probably on the more technical side of things. Yeah. Oh, that's juicy for me. But yeah. Um, another thing to add is that if you're finding the work a little easy just go with it. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult for a teacher to find something harder for you to do because you need to focus on these set skills and um, it's just part of GCSE. So if you're finding it easy, just just be happy that it's not hard. <laughs> I'm going to move on to workload. So the workload is it's not, it's not that big. You'll probably get set maybe, depending on your teacher of course and what school you go to. Um, I got set um, two things a week um, and that was normally to do either a gallery visit or an observational study. So those things, um, gallery visits take a bit longer because you actually have to get up and go, <laughs> but um, observational drawings, they don't take that long. Um, just make sure that you use a different um, or a large variety of different media when creating your observational drawings. Otherwise, they'll think you're boring. I did that um, because I just I, I just didn't want to do the homework, so I just did it all in one thing, like for like a second. <laughs> and I was like, I'm done. They were like, that's boring. Stop. That that's all I've got about the workload. I'll try and share more tips. Let me think of something. A couple of tips for GCSE art is don't stay within your comfort zone, especially with materials. You want to be able to experience the widest variety of materials you can possibly use because this GCSE is kind of the experimental 
time for you. Also, if you're bored of plants, it gets better. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to move on to a couple examples of my GCSE artwork, which is going to make me cringe like hell, but <laughs> ah. I'm here for the help, to help, you know, utilitarian, greater good, my embarrassment helps you. So the first one is, let me sit back a bit, is this picture. We had to focus on cloth and material, so I drew, well I painted this with acrylics. Um, it could be so much better, but you know. Everything could. <laughs> um, we have this uh, unfinished oil pastel shell and feather, which is very old, like very old, like two years ago, very old. Um, do you know what? I have nothing to say about it. You're gonna do a lot of observational drawings of, you know, things that exist in reality, <laughs> so. Yeah. So this was my first ever outcome. Uh, it's a skull. Um, so yeah. Uh, then had eyeball clips, which I had, and I just kind of took the bows off and left them as eyeballs in the little buns. I don't think I had a reference for the hair. Um, you should probably use a reference. <laughs> my perspective is clearly completely warped but <laughs> it's there and we're gonna deal with it. This was my second ever outcome. So it's a pair of platform converse which I had but I left them white because the, my ones were black and my galaxy backpack with some headphones going down. Um, yeah there's a little fur like faux fur scarf around here around underneath the shoes. Um, Kind of very simple colour palette, not much to say about it, but um, I believe this one um, went alongside the last one you saw because I did them at the same time and I believe I got an A for these, so keep in mind colour palettes and try and keep it cohesive, I'd say try and stick with, I'd say, maybe two or three um, main colours and then just use shades and tones of that, those colours. Um, yeah. uh, so this was a chalk and charcoal drawing. We were focusing on cloth and material again. So cloth and material. Yeah, charcoal's good. I like charcoal. I don't have any at home. Um, I don't, I don't really know why, but it's good, it's nice, it's messy, but it's nice. Charcoal. Um, this outcome was done about um, a year ago. Um, it's this ram skull. So, okay, so basically I had a main outcome and I finished it because we had a week to do these outcomes and I finished it in like a couple days. So I did two more outcomes. They basically have no relation to each other, but I just lied to myself and said they were a triptych. This one was the outcome I was talking about, where the one I finished uh, rather quickly. It's uh, me, because this isn't, like, I have a photo of me wearing this um, lilac wig with these purple horns from back when I was pastel goth, and I cry every time I think about it. And I had these tentacles coming out, because I don't remember what the theme was, but there was a theme. And, um, tentacles came into my head and I was like, hair. Yeah. So that, that's the reason behind that. Uh, could be better, there's not enough depth to the face, there isn't a lot of detail and there's like, I, I use like three, two colours, but they're like from the same colour originally. Does that make sense? I used like <laughs> one like tube of paint and then I just added white and I regret. Um, the last one that I did when I finished that octopus me was this one. Yeah, these kind of faceless void people. And at the back it says Servetis Arpediculum, Servetis Amalificum. I'm saying that wrong because it's Latin and I don't speak Latin. It's from an Evanescence song. It means um, save us from evil, save us from wrong, some, something along those lines. Um, 
I was really emo. There we go. <laughs> it was probably rather boring, but I made a video and it's all that counts. I could talk about GCSE textiles, but I'd probably have a breakdown. Oh my gosh. That was a difficult time in my life. That honestly brought me to the very edge of sanity. Textiles. I can't. I understand like all the technicalities of it, like how to do it, but I can't physically do it. Like I understand the different seams and, the, and the, all of that, but I just can't make them. I don't know what it is about my hands. I like to paint, I like to draw. I, I thought maybe I could sew. I can't. Um, I don't know. It, life gets really tough in textiles. And it wasn't just me. It, it wasn't just me. Okay. Um, overall, uh, GCSE art, for me, I found it a little boring because it was so technical and you could kind of be creative but it was very limited to what you were very limited to what you could do um, I also found it a little bit easy and I understood that you, you can't really get it easy and a harder in art it's a bit difficult um, you can't just give someone a completely different thing to do which my teacher did sometimes do because she understood and she was really helpful and she was great thanks miss but yeah overall i just i found it a little bit boring but i think what made it fun was the table i was on and seeing other people's work oh, i love seeing other people's work i tended to use acrylics um or color pencil i don't really use color pencil as much anymore i still use acrylics mainly purely because they dry quickly as I was saying, before my camera cut out, I would have used oil paints, but they take so long to dry. Um, I think it would suit my style, my overall style, much more, and it definitely has more of an appeal to me than acrylics do, but I, just from a practicality-wise, I like to layer very quickly, so acrylics were the, and still are, kind of the more practical option for me. Um, so if you are taking GCSE art and you're thinking of taking A-level art, it gets way more fun. You get to do more things that you want to do, there's a lot more freedom. Um, you're still restricted, but you know, you're still learning the technicalities of everything because you're still very new to art. Um, which to be honest, I don't know you. You could be a literal pro. You could be a prodigy. I don't know. Your parents could be artists. But anyway, everything I learned, unfortunately, was not from school. Everything I learned to do with art was just from doing art, you know? Um, and if it wasn't from just doing art, um, I remember when I was quite young, um, if, you, if you've been with me for a long time, at the age of around 12, I watched a lot of videos, mainly anime and wolf videos, because those were things I was interested in and they taught me more than, than the actual school did <laughs> which was really interesting to, to think of because those things aren't considered art <laughs> like anime is not consider considered an art form but it's taught me so much more <laughs> which is quite strange but yeah, if you want to do a level art I think you'll really enjoy it because I definitely enjoy it a lot more than GCSE it's quite fun for me um, GCSE could get tedious and I, I got a bit bored, but I think if you want to pursue art as a career, definitely go into art again. I don't know, in the future I'd like to go to an art college or something and just basically study art like the rest of my life alongside philosophy and science and everything, basically. <laughs> anyway. Stay hydrated, kids. Goodbye. I wanted to show you this. It says, Chief Weapons Advisor Stark Industries. No, it doesn't. It says Chief Weapons Tech Advisor.
Well, I am looking at this downwards and I am dyslexic. Um, Chief Weapons Tech Advisor, Stark Industries. Changing the world for a better future. I show you a can read, I like past English, it's fine. It's honestly fine. I, I just struggle with some simple things.